we're going to be making letters A through D, and I will walk you through the best I can on how I like to make my letters. We'll do uppercase and lowercase. If you take the tiniest part of your needle nose pliers and hold the wire and wrap the wire around it and make this little loop on the bottom, it makes a great start to your A. And then hold at the top of the letter, uh, the wire where you want the top of your letter to be. I like to make mine about 10, millim 10 millimeters long, about a centimeter long here. So there's the start of our A. Hold your chain nose pliers at the bottom of the wire so you line it up with the other side. Bend it behind and then flatten it. And then you can hold where you want this to come around and just bend the wire around and make your A. To make it more script-like, if you hold the bottom with your chain nose pliers and turn that in, it gives us a nice little script look to it. For our lowercase a, you can just hold the wire with the tool where you want the a to be on both sides and wrap this all the way around and make a circle. You're wrapping the wire on top and then straight down to make our A and then you can bring it out a little bit by just kind of finishing it off and making it look like an A. All right, we've made our first letter. How you doing so far? I'm sure you're going to be able to master this with time. It took me a lot of practice, but um, I got there. All right, same thing with our B. I always start out with a little tiny loop. Bring this straight up on the B. I am making a little decorative top, let's see. <sighs> There's not even a font that really shows it very well. This one kinda does. We're gonna bring the wire up and back down and make this little loop here. So. I don't want the entire letter after I make the loop to be taller than my A, so I need to bend the wire down below the A. See how it's not quite as tall? Bend it behind and then flatten that down. And then with the very smallest tip of our needle nose pliers, hold it as we wrap the wire around. So now, as we come around to start our B, our letter is as high as the A there. Just hold it. And then hold the middle of our B with the smallest part of the tool. Just hold it and use your fingers. Try not to squeeze your wire down too, too much because you don't want to scar it. Hold this in place. Isn't that a beautiful B? It's just my favorite font. Whenever I have to make a bracelet or something with the letter an uppercase B, I like making them. Okay, so same with our lowercase B. The circle in the B, we want to be the same size as our A or whatever we're making. Oops. So we're going to make come up first. I'm I was going in a different direction. Okay, so we want this to come up. The top of our B has a loop on it, right? So it needs to be as tall as our uppercase letter, and then on the lowercase, we just bring this around, hold it on the tool at the same place we did our A and bring it around for our B. For my uppercase C, it just depends, honestly, if, um, if I'm doing like initial bracelets or if I'm starting with a C or if it's in the middle. Um, I'll do a couple different things. Let's see. I'm gonna show you on this one. 
because if you're making just an initial necklace or something, just an initial, you can come around like this and just make a simple little C. You can finish it off with a swirl and then continue on with your other letters if you want. But if you need to make it connected to the bottom, you would bring it up and make the curve at the, the top of your C, line it up with your other capital letters. And I'm going to bend this wire on top of itself much further down because I'm going to make a little swirl on the C. So bend it on top of itself, flatten that down. So now it's on top. And then take the end with your needle nose pliers and make a little loop for the top of our C. And then you can hold it in place and then just wrap that wire around. make our C. If you need to continue on, you may want to kind of make it have a finished look here by bringing that up and bending the wire behind. And that kind of gives it a finished C look. It just depends on what you're going for. Before you make anything in wire, write it down on paper first. Just think about how you're going to connect the wire from either the top to the bottom of the letters. For your lowercase c, it's pretty simple. So we used this part of our tool to make our b. We're going to do the same thing for the c, about the same place. Obviously, we're not going all the way around, but we want it to be the same size. So we used that same part of our needle nose pliers and then bend it on top and then hold it again in the same place to bend the wire around to make that C. Make sure your letters are all the same size and that you like the way they look before you move forward. It's much easier to correct sizing issues before you move on. And always look back. If your C is too big, then maybe you want to bring this wire up a little bit, or cinch this in a little bit. And just play with it. Okay, so our D is the last one for today. And I'm going to make a little loop again. This one starts a lot like how we made our, our B, okay? We want to bring the wire up, not quite the height of our uppercase letters, just a little bit lower, and we're going to make this same design on the left. So come up about three quarters of the way, bend the wire directly behind, flatten it out, then hold with your needle nose pliers at the very tip and pull this wire around. Pull it snug. At this point, we're just holding the wire with our tool. We're not really shaping it. We're using our fingers and kind of pulling it around. And then you hold the wire with the tool where you want that loop to be on our D. And doesn't that look like a nice D? I really like it. And then our last is the lowercase D. Again, um, we're just gonna hold the tool. on the wire at the size that we want the letter to be. It's a little tricky showing you guys how to do this as I'm watching the camera trying to stay in the middle. Okay, so I'll bring that around and then I'm gonna make the top of the D at the top of our letters. We want everything to be the same size. Bring this down behind our D and then I'm gonna make this little kind of swirl, this little curve, I guess, at the end of our D to finish it off. There you go.
I hope you subscribe and stick around for the rest of the alphabet. We will do either four or five letters per video. So stay tuned, subscribe, and we'll see you for the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.